What's up? Tyler from Plugged On. I'm here with an album review. This time I'm going to be talking about the new album from the band Seven Dust entitled All I See Is War. It's the follow up to Kill the Flaw from a few years ago. Um, I love Seven Dust. If you don't know them, they're a rock band, but I feel like they, they, they have a lot, a lot more edge to them. They're definitely harder than a lot of rock bands you would hear on the radio. Um, and I just think they all around write really good records most of the time. And and I think the past few have been pretty solid. I enjoyed Kill the Flaw. I think there's some good songs on there for sure. Um, plus, I, I just always love when there's new Seven Dust music. Just because I love this band's sound. And I, I, I mean, I'll, I'll just say right off the bat that all I see is war is not going to change you if you're not a fan of Seven Dust. I mean, it is straight up a Seven Dust album of you have some very hard-hitting tracks... You have some incredible vocals from Lajon Witherspoon. You have uh, some great choruses. You have uh, some beautiful moments as well, some softer moments. Um, but then you just have songs that just jam. And, and that's something that I just really appreciate about this band. Um, I just think when it comes to a lot of the, the modern rock bands, these guys are just a little bit above everybody else to me. Um, or, or they're up towards the top. Like I wish they're, they're a popular band. Don't get me wrong. I just think Seven Dust should be so much more popular than they are. Um, but it's probably be probably because of how heavy they can be at times. And I will say they are very heavy on this album. Sometimes you know I look at at I think the the track that really sums up how heavy they can be is is Risen. I love the aggression on that song. And not only is that whole song great from chorus. You know, from a vocal perspective with the chorus and everything. Um, but man, does it just, it hits so hard. And I'm like, damn, I, I really love this. Uh, very simplistic guitar, but it, it really shakes things up for sure. I love its placement in the album. It's about halfway through of like, all right, I've been enjoying some of these songs for sure. And then bam, smack in the face. I think that's really cool. Um, the album starts off with their first single off this one, uh, Dirty, which I think is a really good one. Probably one of the catchier choruses on the album. I love the guitar work underneath that chorus combined with Lejean's vocals. I just think is is great. Um, it, it, it really kind of... this th That song to me is kind of your... And I don't mean this in a, in a bad way or anything. That's your typical Seven Dust song. Like It, it has, has um, you know some great... Uh, verses and everything uh and and it has the heaviness there but it also has just that mass appeal that that draws the people in to being like oh i've never heard that before on, on the radio or something like that and then they check out the deeper cuts which is what i like the most um but Dirty's really good. I think another track on here, this is another single they put out, but it's, to me one of the best is Medicated. Uh, Medicated has a great chorus, and I really love how that one, once again, kind of punches you in the face with a simplistic, very heavy riff uh, with just incredible vocals the whole way through this song. Just not only the verses, uh, but the chorus. I love the, ver the the backing vocals in this one. Seven Dust has always had great backing vocals. This is, this is a great example of that. Um... Then I think there's just so, some other just fantastic tracks on here to me are Unforgiven is good. Sickness has an amazing chorus that I, I that just gives me the feels. I, I love it. Um, yeah, uh, Cheers is, is another one that, that has a nice kind of groove to it, an interesting guitar riff. Uh, and then I, I really love towards the end, Life Deceives You. I think that's that's one that's really good. I, I love its its pace. And I like like its vocals for sure. Very strong album vocally to me. And just very strong album from a production and writing standpoint from Seven Dust. I, I, I do think, personally, this is one of my favorite Seven Dust albums. Just because I do feel like nearly every song just hits. And hits in a great way. But doesn't feel like overused. And that's kind of what's weird about Seven Dust. Is that there are things on here that are... They, they have that that feeling of, oh, I feel like they've somewhat done something like this before. And, and they probably have, but they still find a way to at least put some sort of spin on it to make it feel really good and fresh. And and I just think this album as a whole is a little bit better than, than some of the other ones that they've done. That, 
you know I've been like I said I've enjoyed some of their recent recent material and of course their early stuff is just on point but uh I think Seven Dust has had a pretty good career, man. They they really have, and they've been fairly consistent. There are some albums better than others, absolutely. I think you get that with every band, but I think this this band has been pretty consistent to who they are. I like when they do do with different things now and then, um, just to spice it up, try something new. Uh, I don't think there's a ton of that on here, but what I do think is this is just a, a collection of just really solid songs from these guys that that I think a lot of Seven Dust fans are going to like. I like it. I've been jamming it since it came out, man. It's cool. Anyways, I'm going to give this an 8.5 out of 10. All I see is war. Check it out from Seven Dust. Thanks for watching. See you later.